good day. My name is Gogood, a former magician. Today, I am the guardian of time. <laughs> I've already done all the more mundane jobs. <laughs> <clears throat> right, the reason I've come down to Earth for a moment is to tell you the legend of the great knight, Hype. A very long time ago, in the kingdom of Taurus, King Tascan IV and his queen Lizoth were celebrating the end of the Civil War and had invited everyone to a fabulous banquet. Hype was the champion of the kingdom, and to reward him for his loyal services, Queen Lizoth presented him with the powerful Sword of Peace. This was a great honor, and everyone was delighted, especially his betrothed, Vibe. <laughs> But at the very same moment, a terrible black knight appeared. Such a mysterious being had never been seen before. The black knight advanced toward the king and demanded the throne. Courageously, at this dramatic moment, Hype stepped forward. But unfortunately, the black knight was too strong for him. No one knows how he managed to transform Hype into a statue. Then he cast the statue aside and flung him deep into the past. And guess where the statue of Hype turned up? 200 years earlier? In the courtyard of my manor. I was an apprentice magician at the time. <laughs> I was young and inexperienced. Wretched statue! That's the last time I try to change you into a knight! I know no one can see me, but that's no reason to make fun of me just because I can't do it! Ah, oh, to own a knight! What a wonderful dream! He would pick my herbs, protect my manor, do chores around the house. I must do it. I must! Kylum! Octoritas Magia! Transformare statua in Cabalarius Servicium. I... I remember. I'm hype. I... Uh, I was transformed into a statue by a powerful black knight. He... Uh, he threw me back into the past. Help me, young magician. I... I must return to my own time. I have to protect my... my betrothed. And my king, Tascan the Fourth, and take revenge. Uh, take revenge on. 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 There now, calm yourself, Sir Knight. But did you say Tascan the Fourth? But our king's Tascan the First. Hmm.
Very well. I'll help you. My name is Gogood. But I... Uh, I'm still quite inexperienced. I'm not a particularly brilliant magician. I'm worth little more than a melted plastic. But... But the challenge will be exciting. Right. After such a long journey through time, you'll need some training. Come with me and we'll get your coordination back for you. You've been imprisoned in the rock for a long time. It's only natural you're a bit rusty. So let me give you a small reminder. You can do all the actions by pressing the space bar. You can run using the caps key and jump using the control key. But a great knight really must be a skilled swordsman. To unsheathe or resheathe the sword, use the X key. You can then fight using the space bar. If you want to practice, try and hit the two targets on this mannequin. You must also use your crossbow for fighting from a distance. To draw and put away the crossbow, press Z. You can then take aim with the arrows and fire with the spacebar. To improve your vision, hold the zero insert key down. If you want your aim to be more precise, hold the caps key down. Here are some crossbow bolts. Use them to try to hit the two targets on this mannequin. Then we'll move on to the last mannequin. This is how you use magic. With a weapon in your hand, choose your magic spell using the delete key. Then, cast the spell by pressing enter. Now, try and hit the two targets on this mannequin. It's time for you to start your quest. I know that the Royal Jewel allows you to journey through time, but, uh, but I don't know how. You must begin your search for the Royal Jewel in the fortress in the town of Taurus. There are many treasures there. I'll have a look through my old books, and with any luck, I'll discover how the Royal Jewel allows you to journey through time. Come back and see me with the Jewel. I'm sure to have some more information by then. Here's the key to the bridge portal. You can select it in your inventory by pressing tab. Good fortune.
Uh, it's only me again, Sir Knight. Uh, I... I just wanted to offer you some advice. Each time you see a lectern such as this, it means you can save your adventure. Just press the space bar when you're near a lectern. A knight who undertakes a quest like yours must be prudent. You must record and save as you progress, so you don't have to start all over again. Um, sorry. I, uh, I won't bother you again, Knight. I promise. I've, uh, I've got something that might be useful to you. It's a map of the kingdom. You can consult it by pressing the end key. On the map, your symbol shows where you are. The flashing X shows you where you have to go. Anyway, I'll leave you in peace now. Don't forget, you must find the royal jewel in the fortress and then come back and see me. Here's the map, Hype. Good luck. Aha! No one ventures into our forest without our leaves tonight. And I don't know whether your gold or your weapons will be enough to pay for your safe passage. Ha 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 ha!
riddance. He wouldn't stop ogling me, the horrible man. Yuck. Welcome to the fair city of Taurus, Sir Knight. You'll find the villagers very friendly. But be careful if you go near the fortress. The king doesn't trust strangers. He fears the spies from the monastery. If you do go into the fortress, it's at your own risk. Hmm. Well, handsome knight, you do look exhausted. You should go and refresh yourself at Bonin's Inn. Sir Knight, I'm the man for you, because I'll sell you what I make best. Don't forget now, this is the one and only stall where quality comes first, last and always. Look at my prices, they cannot be beat. Make your choice. You're in luck. This is where you'll find the best military equipment around. As I always say, for military gear, the search stops here. Right then, I can reinforce your armor for 25 plastics, or sell you 10 crossbow bolts for 10 plastics. Make your choice. You're taking a risk walking about like that in foreign armor. The king will certainly make you pay. Unless these wretched bees do. They've got nests everywhere in this town. Someone should take it upon themselves to get rid of them.
Welcome to Taurus. I am Jamoose, the town shoemaker. Here, I think only of your feet. <laughs> Perhaps you've met my son in the forest. I'm training him to follow in my footsteps. You get it? Hey, oh, well, never mind. You see, I dream of making the best boots ever. But I need plastics, and I need you to test my boots. If you give me just 40 plastics, you can run a race against the clock wearing my boots. And if you beat the record, on behalf of the shoemakers Jamoose and Son, I'll give you a very useful gift to a great knight such as yourself. So, do you want to run this race, Sir Knight, eh? Here's how the race works. On my signal, you must follow the route indicated by the torches. Each time you pass a torch and put it out, others will appear. The last torch will reveal the gift offered by Jamoose and Son. But remember, Sir Knight, it's against the clock. You must be quick. Do you want me to explain it again? Over to you, Sir Knight. On your mark, set, go! Well done and thank you. I hope you like the present from Jamus and son. You've shown me that I can still improve my boots. It may take a long time, but one day they'll be unbelievable. Now, you can rerun the race if you wish. Would you like to? OK, but you don't know what you're missing. These are really good boots. If you change your mind, come back and see me. I'll be here all day. Good heavens, a foreign knight. I love it when someone comes from far away to admire my buildings. I'm Bolduck, the architect who designed the fortress, and I'm very proud of it, even if that interfering idiot Tascan did have to poke his nose into my plans. And speaking of that ungrateful king, that so-and-so Tascan, be careful if you go near his fortress. He's not too keen on strangers at the moment. Only a courageous man would be able to get in there. Courageous? Hmm. The field of courage. Thank you, Sir Knight. You've just given me an idea. A field of courage. Hmm. Slack's the king's new guard. He's really scary. 
It's because of people like you that they have gods like him. As for me, <laughs> he doesn't scare me. He's probably a big softy like all warriors. Grand Slack's bound to have a soft side to him. <laughs> foreign knight. You should leave here. There's war in the air and I don't like it. The monastery's definitely going to attempt something. I've seen Grand Slack, the king's new guard. I wouldn't like to have to face him. Although, given his height, if you jumped on him, he'd fall over backwards without a doubt. Ha 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 ha! Well now, a strange night in Taurus. Now I've seen everything. Bonin, bring me some refreshments. It'll be worth your while. And some for me too. You see, Sir Knight, the town's fortress won't tolerate strangers at the moment. If you go there, you must be very brave. Or mad. It's, uh, it's a good job you're not... 
not wearing the livery of the Monastery Templars. If you were, all the fortress guards would be after you. Those fools at the Monastery! Fancy wanting to attack Taurus and the fortress and take power! That's as stupid as the King's guards! But wait! You could be a spy from the Monastery in disguise! Bonin! Bonin, quick! Call the guards! 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 That's enough! Otherwise I won't serve you, understand? As far as I'm concerned, he's a customer just like anyone else! Come in, handsome knight! Ignore these empty-headed buffoons! Don't listen to what that other idiot says. Taskin the First founded Taurus and we owe him a lot. The economy's doing well, and since the King raised an army, the tradesmen and the blacksmith are rich! The monastery's just a joke! They're recruiting huge monks to defend themselves. It's absolutely ridiculous! With guards like Granslack, even if he does topple over from time to time, we'll crush them! Well, we are in a fine mess. Tascan the First collects symbols of power, jewels, armor, breastplates. He wants to decorate his fortress to show his supremacy. And outside the town, the monastery's demanding the throne. The monastery, the king. What's the difference? They're both idiots with weapons. Yeah, we'll have a war on our hands before long. No doubt about it. It's nice to talk to a knight from out of town. All the knights round here are stupid. Oh, I'm fed up with living in Taurus. If you'd like some company on one of your long journeys. No? Ah, that's a pity. Right. If you want to eat to regain your strength, you must pay in plastics. You're also entitled to a room for free, where you can sleep and refresh yourself. And as you're so nice, you can come back to the room as often as you like. Make your choice.
Aha! You see, you bunch of incompetent fools! It was easy! You don't need to be clever to trap a spy! I've managed it! Yes, yes Your Majesty! Yes, Your Majesty! Rah! What have I done to be landing with a bunch of useless nincompoops like you? All it took was a little ambush, and there you go! Cornered! Yes, Your Splendiferousness. You're right, Your Magnificence. You are the mightiest, Your Sumptuousness. You say I'm the mightiest? If you'd been a bit sharper, the monastery spies would never have stolen my royal jewel and my sword. Now, be vigilant! I do not want to lose the first dragon's breastplate. One more mistake and I'll execute you myself. With a spoon, so that it takes longer. Yes, yes Your Majesty. Majesty. Sorry, Sorry, Your Majesty. Majesty. It, it won't, won't happen, happen again. again. It won't happen again. I hope so for your sake. As for you, you're going to be sorry you ever set foot in my fortress. Uh, you're going to pay the price for all of the others. The monastery's already stolen my royal jewel, but that is the last of it. I still have some symbols of power that command respect. My new god Granslack will protect them. I'd like to see anyone try and steal them with him around. <laughs> 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 Silence! Seize him! Take his weapons and throw him in the dungeons with the other imbecile from the monastery! Believe me, Sir Knight, no one makes a fool of me. No one! Greetings! I'm Talbot, Templar Knight from the monastery. I expect you were looking for the royal jewel as well. I'm a prisoner at the moment, but I don't care. The royal jewel's in our monastery now. My friends have managed to get it. The monastery deserves to have the jewel, and one day we'll have the first dragon's breastplate as well. That huge great grand slack's protecting it at the moment, but I'm going to make him lose his balance and fall over backwards! He'll be so humiliated! Shut up in there! There's no point making plans! You're gonna be executed imminent, 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 soon! At this very moment, uh, I am constructing a cartwheel, which I'm sure you'll find very comfortable. <laughs> we must speak more quietly. We might be able to get his keys. He always has them on his belt. And I know where your weapons are. The Executioner keeps them close by him in the torture chamber. Listen carefully, Sir Knight. If you free me, you can get into the monastery. I'll personally ensure that the door's unlocked for you. Knight's honor. Sir Knight, I'll keep my promise. You'll be able to get into the monastery now. If you want to get out of the dungeons, you must press the button in this cell. 
It'll open the gate to the torture chamber. I didn't do it earlier because I wasn't convinced you'd come back. Please, forgive my mistrust. Farewell, Sir Knight. It's every man for himself now. Thank you, Sir Knight. I can see in you a very gifted apprentice magician. The King stores his treasures here in a special room. But there are more than riches in this room. If you are who I think you are, you'll find something else.
Well done, Sir Knight. You're very strong. I'm ashamed to admit, I had to hide. I couldn't defeat that guard. You deserve to have the first dragon's breastplate. Maybe it'll earn you the services of a dragon. And as I promised, the monastery doors are open to you. Come and see us. You'll see how powerful we are now we have the royal jewel. Farewell, Sir Knight. Slack, that great big guard. <laughs> if I appeal to his softer side, he'll fall over backwards. <laughs> Greetings, Sir Knight. I'm Willet, son of the Shoemaker and Taurus. We want to make the fastest boots in the whole kingdom. We need knights like you to test them and pay for our research. I'm going to tell you about a race. If you win it, I'll give you a present on behalf of Jamus and son, the Shoemakers. And you'll have the honor of having helped us. If you give me a hundred plastics, 
You can run the race and get our present. Would you like to? This is how the race works. On my signal, you must follow the route shown by the torches. Each time you pass by a torch and put it out, others will appear. The last torch will reveal the gift we're offering. And remember, you're racing against the clock. You have to do it quickly. Do you want me to explain it again? Good fortune, Sir Knight. On your mark, set, go! Tonight, you're a good runner. I hope you like the present. But our boots aren't quite perfect yet. One day, they'll be absolutely brilliant, even faster still. Right. If you want, you can run the race again. Oh, what a shame. Come back and see me if you change your mind, though, won't you? I'll be here all day. a prisoner with me. He's got the breastplate. I knew if I left the door open he'd fall into the trap. Stop him! He's here to steal the jewel! Watch out! Watch out!
I love this monastery, Sir Knight, but our leaders are making the same mistake as the king. They think they're superior and should own the royal jewel. But only a humble man can own it. I'd like that man to be you. Free us from the jewel and the terrible greed it causes. At the top of this tower, you'll find Mas, the guardian. He's invincible. Your only chance is to make him topple over the edge. But I've said enough. Now, prove your worth.
Well, well, who have we got here? A knight who wants to steal a royal jewel. Oh, fancy that. I don't know the things that happen to this jewel. Well, I'm very sorry, but the royal jewel's in a monastery to stay. And a great big oaf like you isn't going to change that. You're going down to this tower a lot faster you came up it. Ho 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 Sir Knight, I'm very pleased that you've stolen the royal jewel. It is a sign of supremacy and probably has unknown powers. It is more powerful than man. He who is humble will know how to use it. Perhaps it's not just chance that you now possess it.
Ah, Hype! Do you have the royal jewel? That's wonderful! I found a very strange engraving in one of my old books. It's an exact replica of your sword. Quite extraordinary. But, uh, but I don't really know what it signifies. Hmm, I'm... I'm sorry. What I do know, on the other hand, is that the royal jewel and your sword allow you to journey through time when they are together. To do this, Sir Knight, you must charge the royal jewel with energy from the sky. Then all you have to do is strike a sundial. And I have one in my courtyard. Only, I know this seems complicated, but all you've got to do now is to charge the royal jewel with energy from the sky. And I don't know how to do that. Sir Knight, you are armed and therefore an enemy of dragons. But you haven't attacked me, which puts you in a different category than other knights. I respect that. However, since my forefathers allowed our glorious breastplate to be stolen, I am distrustful. Go, be on your way. I recognize the first dragon's breastplate. Words cannot express its value. It's such a long time since it was lost to my race, stolen by dishonorable men. I am moved that you are offering it to me, Sir Knight. It is a noble gesture. A divine beast always recognizes nobility. Now I know that you deserve to possess the objects I see. I see that you have the royal jewel, and I also recognize your sword. But I can say no more. My name is Zatila. Would you like to climb on my back so that we can go and charge the royal jewel with energy from the sky? <laughs> Sir Knight, I am entirely at your disposal. Control my flight with the arrows. I shall beat my wings and go faster if you keep the caps key pressed down. And if you wish, I shall slow down and stop if you press control. I can also breathe forth my mighty flames for you if you press the space bar. Look, Sir Knight. The sky is giving out energy, which gathers into Energia Prisma. These are the luminous triangles that you can see floating in the sky. You must capture 40 Energia Prisma to charge the Royal Jewel. But don't forget that you have a limited time. You must be quick. I cannot fly for a long time with a knight on my back. Now, if you're ready, press caps and I will fly for you.
Well done. You've charged the jewel. Ah, collecting these Energia Prisma has really done me good. I could fly for hours with you if you wanted me to. But for now, let's be careful. There are some nasty dragons about who don't like anyone else to fly over their territory. If you prefer to go back to the forest and pursue your quest, just direct me towards our takeoff point. Hype, the royal jewel is the symbol of the power of mankind. United with your sword, a little of this power is released to you. The jewel will soon reveal its magic power. I do not yet know whether you are the one who can make good use of it. I've seen so many wars and so many good men turn into monsters and commit the worst atrocities. But I shall soon know if you are worthy of this jewel. Even if you return to your own time, we shall see each other again. I have eternal life. I've discovered something. You must charge the royal jewel with energy from the sky. You've already done it? Excellent! I've also discovered a strange engraving. It's an exact replica of your sword. But I don't know any more than that. I haven't learned anything about the Black Knight. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm as useless as a catapult without a rock. Hmm. Right. Now that the jewel is charged, if you strike a sundial with your sword, you will travel through time. And I have a sundial in the courtyard. Please, in your era, come and see me. Maybe I'll still be here. And here in my manor, I'll probably have built a secret room. I'll leave you something in there. Good luck! I want him alive! It might be hype! In his journal, Goku talks to him about the secret room! Get him!
I knew that I'd see you again. You have made good use of the jewel and of your sword up to now. We'll see if it continues. Take care in Taurus. The town now has mastery of science and magic. The magicians are very clever, but men often use their knowledge for evil. Fair stranger, welcome. I hope you have a pleasant stay in Taurus. This is a town where life feels good. You'll find Taurus is a town which values both military skills and new sciences. No point attacking me, Sir Knight. Welcome to Taurus. By the order of our good king, Taskin the Second, all foreign knights are welcome.
Well, now, a foreign night. Good evening. You must be here to enroll at the Field of Courage. Ah, the dreams of a knight, the jewels in the treasure room, the armor. A piece of advice, sir knight. Don't trust Senecal. He has some fearsome weapons. Again. Well, a foreign knight. Do you think I'm mad? <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I work for Radjoff, the head magician in the laboratory. <laughs> and now I have strange visions. <laughs> Today I had to collect some herbs from the forest for Radjoff. <laughs> and then I went to take the herbs to Radjoff in the laboratory. Strange things are happening there at the moment. <laughs> I pity the magicians who are held prisoner, especially the one called Gogood. In the laboratory, Gogood's the one they question the most. <laughs> it's enough to drive you mad. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> We must speak quietly, Sir Knight. I recognize you. You're the one who stole the royal jewel. Your face is on the Quisitus. I can guess what you're doing here. You're looking for your friend Gogood, the magician. How do I know that? <laughs> if you give me 20 plastics, I'll tell you everything I know about your friend. Thank you. <laughs> your friend is being held prisoner by Rajoth the most powerful magician in the town. He's in the great laboratory. I know that because I work there. Rejoth's keeping your friend close to him. He's very keen to know his secrets, especially the ones about you. Would you like to get into the laboratory? <laughs> it's easy. Just follow the pipes. <laughs> Good evening, Sir Knight.
Oh, thank you, Sir Knight. At last I can walk the streets in peace without being bothered by bees. It's marvellous. Wonderful. Oh, thank you again. Have a pleasant evening. Welcome to Taurus tonight. You look awfully familiar. Have uh, we met before? Oh well, never mind. Let me introduce myself. My name is Wellet, and I'm the town shoemaker. For years I've been working to make the best boots ever. My father had the idea a long time ago, and believe me, Knight, I will succeed. But I need your help to finance my research and test my boots. If you give me 125 plastics, you can wear my boots to run a race. And if you win this race, there'll be a reward for you. Would you like to run the race tonight? Here's how the race works. On my signal, you must follow the route indicated by the flaming torches. Each time you pass a torch and put it out, others will appear. The last torch will reveal the promised reward. And remember, it's a race against the clock, so you must be quick. Would you like me to explain it again? Good luck, Sir Knight. On your mark, set, go! Well done, Sir Knight. You've earned the reward. But oh, I'm still a bit disappointed with my boots. Oh, I know I can still improve them. Believe me, Sir Knight, one day these boots will be unbelievable, unbeatable, beyond compare. Uh, <coughs> if you wish, Sir Knight, you can run the race again. Would you like to? No? It's all right. I'll be here all night. So come back and see me if you change your mind. Farewell now. Aha! Look at that! A foreign knight in my inn! Ah, Tuscan the Second would be pleased. He's so very fond of strangers. I sometimes wonder whether he doesn't prefer strangers to his own people. Oh no, not again. Shut up, will you? Oh, I miss the days when we used to fight against the monastery. At least that was only between ourselves. I'm going off on a campaign, said Tuscan on the Second. To learn of other cultures, he said. What? Aren't we good enough here? I says to him, I says. Aren't we intelligent then? Be quiet! Messy to goodness! A science laboratory! Hey, hey, hey! A field of courage for the knights! Will you be quiet? Oh, Tashkan the First, where are you? Enough, you rowdy lot! No one insults Tascan the Second in here. One more word, and I'll call the guard. 
Our king is a great king. As for his father, Taskin the First, he was a tyrant who thought only about his own power. You should welcome this stranger. I, for one, am flattered that he should choose to visit my town and my inn. Come in, Sir Knight. Make yourself at home. I'm Martel, the innkeeper. I'm sorry about this welcome. Taskin the Second's off exploring unknown lands, and these two blockheads take advantage of his absence to criticize him. The king has encouraged scientific development by having an astrolab built, and he no longer press gangs knights. The town now has a field of courage for those who aspire to knighthood. Ah, uh, but we all have a right to our own opinions. Very well. If you want to eat and gather your strength, you have to pay in plastics. And to welcome you, I can offer you a room free of charge, where you can have a sleep and refresh yourself. My chambermaid will prepare it for you. Don't pay too much attention to Martel, Sir Knight. He's very naive. Tuscan the Seconds ended the war against the monastery, but why? The monks live as a closed order now, and I've heard there's unpleasant goings on in the laboratory. I doubt whether the king has any control over the magicians. And as for the field of courage, the king hides all his jewels and riches there. The gatekeeper Senegal is a strong man, and his weapons are fearsome. I worry that one day the men of the Field of Courage will rebel against the King. You're a knight, right? Don't you find it strange that the King can't keep order in his own forest? The brigands are getting stronger and stronger. I'm sure their leader Karen's more intelligent than the King. One day the brigands will steal the jewels from the new treasure room in the Field of Courage. They're already working on it, so I've heard. They'll make a fool of Tascan the Second, and then we'll have a civil war on our hands. I... Uh, oh! Good evening, Sir Knight. The, the room's ready. Please, forgive me. You... you remind me of my husband who's gone missing. Oh, but it's... it's not what you think. It's just... let me explain. One day, the King brought a superb suit of armor back from one of his campaigns. It said he found it in a lost city. As far as I can remember, the armor would suit you perfectly, with its shape and its livery. On his return, Tuscan II hid it in the treasure room at the Field of Courage. When, when he saw the armor, my husband started dreaming about it, and he enrolled at the Field of Courage. He hoped to leave there with the armor. I, I never saw him again. They say he's been eaten by the three-headed dragon. The room's ready tonight. Your room's ready, Sir Knight.
Your sword! <gasps> your livery! It is! It's high go good friend! Oh, we shared a cell here! He is a remarkable magician! That madman Rajal keeps him near him. He's desperate to possess his knowledge. I hope Gogood's all right. Sir Knight, you are a friend of Gogood, and therefore a friend of mine. I am Kaltran. I have developed a powerful ice magic. I wanted to use it against Rajos, as he controls fire, but he's taken it from me. My magic must still be here somewhere. If you find it, keep it as a gift. Good fortune! I'm sorry, Great Rajos. I still don't have anything, but uh, I promise that... But... You're freeing me? I... Thank you. Thank you so much. But... Aha! Uh -huh, you're that famous knight. That madman Rajoth has put a spell on your friend Gogood to make him talk about you. Rajoth done the same thing with the other magicians so he can steal their knowledge. He's crazy. I'm sure he can't genuinely serve the king. Farewell, sir knight. And thank you. Great Ragdoll, I found it. I you're not Rajoth? I'm free? Ah! But you... You're the famous Hype who travels through... Oops! I was there when Rajoth made your friend Goga talk. <laughs> he seems very powerful, this Black Knight of the future. It's interesting, uh, well, from a scientific point of view, of course. <laughs> You're inspiring me to do some research. <laughs> right, well, thank you for freeing me, Sir Knight. gave express orders that I wasn't to be disturbed. <laughs> oh, but... Well, 
well, how interesting. A foreign knight in my domain. This can't just be a courtesy god. Oh, you've got here in spite of my guards and my obstacles. Oh, well done indeed. You must be so powerful. <laughs> I'm so frightened, so terrified. <laughs> anyway, that's enough. You've no business here, you miserable little worm. Wait, haven't I seen you before somewhere, hmm? Uh, what a pity I have to leave you, Sir Knight. I'd love to see how you get out of this. <laughs> Be careful, Hype. The power of the scepter is awesome. Everything flows from it. You must destroy it. Find a way to open the gate that protects it. It was you, the famous hype. Now I have no more doubts. You proved it to me by coming here. You're the one who journeys through time with the magic sword, who stole the royal jewel, who flies on the back of a dragon, who wants to take revenge on a mysterious black knight. Impressive! No, 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 really, I'm very impressed! <laughs> but it's all over now! I'll be the one who journeys through time! I'll be master of everything! Prepare to fight the fires of hell!
Thank you, Hype. You are... you are a great knight. I feared the worst. I... I was convinced you'd arrive in time. I underestimated you. Please forgive me. Good. Quickly now. We must get out of here before the fortress guards find us. Hurry, Hype. We must get away from here as quickly as possible. Hurry, Hype. Listen carefully, Hype. This is what I've learned over these last few years. The Royal Jewel has allowed you only one leap through time. 
Now you need to find the Jewel of Mankind. You need a jewel for each leap in time until you get back to your own era. And you must charge these jewels with energy from the sky in the era that you are in. I've also learned that the more jewels you possess, the more powerful your sword becomes. When you've found the Jewel of Mankind, come to my manor and I'll have some more information for you. To find your jewel, I suggest you go to the treasure room at the Field of Courage. It's difficult to get in. It's said that the brigands are trying to get in through a secret passage in the forest. That's all I know. Good luck. Give me time to get away before you leave. The guards mustn't see me with you. Sir Knight, you do right to stop here. In this place, we forge good things, and we forge them for good. My traditional crossbow bolts are sold in packs of twenty, and modern bolts come in packs of five. Now make your choice. There you go. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. I look forward to seeing you again, Sir Knight. handsome. You are strong, Sir Knight. You are strong, but we are many. You, take his crossbow and his plastics! Righto, Karen. Consider it done. I'm Karen, leader of the brigands. I'll leave you your sword. You'll need it. You see, handsome knight, I know who you are. They say you can journey through time. Your powers may be useful to me. I'd like to get into the treasure room at the Field of Courage to avenge my father. 
His name was Bolduc, and he was the architect who built the Field of Courage. But Taskan the First never paid him for it. Right now, we can't get into the treasure room. So I have a mission for you. Find my father in the past, in Torres, and show him my bracelet. He'll know you've come on my behalf. Ask him to devise a way of getting into the treasure room. If you succeed, I'll give you your money, your crossbow, and a signed pass, and the brigands will be your allies forever. Saying, Knight, you, you've come from the future on behalf of my daughter Karen, and she's given you her bracelet to prove it. That's incredible. But, but I know that if you have her bracelet, it's because that's what she wanted. I've heard of you, Sir Knight. The guards are looking for you everywhere. Rumor has it that you vanished into thin air. Now I can believe it. Right then, that's set. I'll devise an opening system for the treasure room at the Field of Courage. Karen will have the key. Farewell, Sir Knight, and don't forget to return the bracelet to Karen. Karen sent me with a message for you, Sir Knight. She still doesn't trust you, so she wants a meeting in our village. We've opened up the hollow tree that leads there for you. It's a bit further on in the forest. Be on your way now. No one keeps our leader Karen waiting.
We've been expecting you, Sir Knight. Yes, you may become one of our allies one day, but for the moment, I don't like you. Don't mess with Karen. Put one foot wrong and we'll be there before you know it. Got that? <laughs> Go on, she's waiting for you. Thank you. As promised, here's the brigands' insignia, proof that we shall be your allies forever. But I still need you. We know the opening system designed by my father. My plans worked. But no brigand has ever come back alive from the treasure room because of the three-headed dragon. With your magic, you can do it. And then I can avenge my father by stealing all the riches in there. Near the gate which closes the treasure room at the Field of Courage, my father sculpted a copy of my bracelet. If you hit it with a crossbow bolt, the gate will open. Before you leave, go and see my guards. They'll make things easier for you. Take care, and good luck. be something about you to have convinced Karen so readily. She's got her eye on you, as you might say. <laughs> yes, you're right there. I trust Karen. We shall be allies, Hype. Here's your crossbow. I sharpened the bolts for you myself. I'm the village counterfeiter. Yeah, I've made you a fake signed pass, which will get you into the field of courage, no problem. Off you go. Good luck. Be brave like a brigand! <laughs> We mustn't waste any time. With your false pass, you'll easily get into the field of courage. <laughs> you got everything you need to succeed now. <laughs> Off you go.
bars. <laughs> what a shame it's the gladiators turn in the arena today. I would have loved to have a go at you. Go on, go in. Tonight, if you overcome our gladiator, you'll be able to enter the treasure room. And then, if you're brave, shrewd, and fancy your chances, the rest is up to you. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Our contestant is ready. Send in. choice. You can either leave or take your chances in the treasure room. Go on. It's a long way to the end of the corridor. You'll have plenty of time to think about what you're going to do. <laughs>
tonight, perhaps. <laughs> Now, Hype, I am convinced that you are noble and good. Seeing you with this armor is confirmation. Are you surprised to have found armor in the colors of Tuscan IV? This has not happened by chance, but I can say no more. You still have a long journey ahead of you. You found the jewel of mankind, which represents men and women with all the good and bad that is within them. You now possess the royal jewel, a symbol of the power of man, and the jewel of mankind, a symbol of all that man is. Right, climb on my back. It is time to charge your jewel with energy from the sky. Do you want to do it now?
The jewel of mankind requires more energy than the royal jewel. You will need 50 Energia Prisma to charge it fully. And Hype, don't forget that your time is limited. Your weight is considerable with this armor, and I cannot fly for long. charge the jewel. Ah, uh, collecting these Energia Prisma has really done me good. I could fly for hours with you if you wanted me to. But for now, let's be careful. There are some nasty dragons about who don't like anyone else to fly over their territory. If you prefer to go back to the forest and pursue your quest, just direct me towards our takeoff point. Your flying is remarkable, Hype. I'm beginning to think there's no end to your talents. Right, now I know that we shall see each other again. Don't worry about Gogood and your friends the brigands. I shan't interfere in their lives, but I shall protect them from harm without their being aware of it. One day you'll understand why I can't do the same for you. Farewell, Hype.
I shall never get used to seeing you flying on a dragon hype. Um, <clears throat> let me introduce Belair. He's, um, well, let's just say he's a little odd, but he's not dangerous. He told me he wanted to see you, so I... Yes! <laughs> we know each other. <laughs> I've seen you in the clouds, and I've seen something else. One of my visions. <laughs> a message! <laughs> ah! One day, eyes of light will come. There's nothing we can do, but he can. The knight in the lost armor. He can. <laughs> what did I just say? Neek, neek, neek. Yes, hmm, well, I didn't get all of that. Anyway. I see you have the armor. I saw it with your sword in an old engraving. Beneath the engraving, these were described as weapons of good. In different kingdoms, these weapons have vanquished evil beings whose eyes beamed out light. But my discoveries have barely scratched the surface. There was another jewel, the Jewel of Virtue. This is the jewel you must look for in the era in which you will arrive. That's all I know. I'm sorry. Go now. Have a good journey through time, Hype. Come back and see me if... if I'm still here. I'm convinced you'll return. Surprised to see me, eh? Rajoth prolonged my life without realizing it by performing those experiments on me. But I don't know whether that's a good thing or not, considering the times we're living in. Right, now, what do you need to look for, hmm? Ah, yes, the, the, the jewel, of the jewel, the jewel of, um... Ah, that's it, the jewel of virtue. <laughs> no, I haven't found anything. There's a civil war in Taurus at the moment. Young people have no respect for anything anymore. And they're so rude. Hey, yo-ho, hype. I forgot. A knight wants to meet you. She claims to be a messenger from Tascan the Third, but I didn't take any chances. <laughs> I locked her in my secret room. She'd never seen a magic spell, poor thing. <laughs> 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 Excuse me.
Ah, at last. A fine way you have of making a woman feel welcome. So it's you, Hype. <sighs> Common as an old plastic, but since it's the King's will... Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rave, champion of Taskin the Third. The King knows of you and wants to meet you. He has a mission for you. Many people know the legend of the knight who journeys through time. Your story is written in scores of almanacs. The King wants to see you in his fortress, in spite of the civil war. All the same, beware of his knights. Since the meeting must remain secret, you never know. Farewell, Sir Knight. If you are as strong as they say you are, we shall meet again. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. I finally found the book that Nolan gave me some years ago. Nolan? Hmm, I wonder what she's doing now. Ah, yes, she's the leader of the brigands. She found the book, The Treatise of Time. I'm sure I'll find some information about your jewel in there. I'll see you later. Greetings, Hype. It's autumn. The colors of the season are beautiful, but they only disguise the death of nature. It's sad. Everything's sad. You'll see, Hype, that even a man on a noble quest does some deplorable things. Others become jealous. Nobility makes others suspicious. Ha! It's human nature. leader of the brigands. My mother Karen and my father Terrio have talked a lot about you. I feel as though I've known you forever. I've walked here every day hoping to meet you. The brigands work for you now. When he learned who you were, the former King Taskin II talked to the brigands of a mysterious lost city. He gave us a map showing us how to get into the city, adding that it may be useful to you someday. The way into the city is through a dolman. All the brigands are looking for it for you, so don't worry about that. Instead, go and see Taskin III in his fortress. I know he's waiting for you. I'll let you know as soon as we found the passage. And make sure you go through my village. One of my men has prepared some new bolts for your crossbow. Good luck!
You're Hype! What an honor to meet you! I'm looking for the dolmen which will let us enter the lost city. Perhaps you already know, but the armor you're wearing was found by Taskin II in this city. Shortly after you left, the king learned that you'd managed to regain the armor in the Field of Courage. He said that you must be a very special person. So he drew a secret map and gave it to Karen, our former leader. He was sure you'd want to know about this city. He was an excellent king when all is said and done. Come back and see us soon. I've got a feeling that we're close to finding the dolmen. The brigand's insignia! Ach, welcome! You must be hype! Adopting your noble cause has been the salvation of the brigands, you know. With the civil war, there's no gold or treasures. The brigand trade was on the verge of dying out. Be careful in the forest. The many experiments that the magicians of the great laboratory have carried out over the years have disturbed the specters. Exactly as I imagined you. Welcome to our village. With the Civil War, no one has bothered about the brigands for a long time. But that's a good thing. We can dedicate ourselves to looking for the place marked on Taskin II's old map. Hi, we have very close links with Zatila now. He's been very distant and thoughtful for some time. I hope there's nothing seriously wrong. Honor for me, Hype. I'm Anna, a simple brigand. I've been waiting for this moment since I was a wee lad. Karen and Terrio were accurate in the description of you. Right, here are the bolts that I made especially for you. Perhaps there might be something else in our village that you would like. Please, have a look around.
A strange night. Now I've seen everything. So where did you come from? Probably one of those secret passages. They're everywhere. Even our roofs aren't safe anymore. This civil war's completely mad. Good heavens! A knife! You should make yourself useful instead of just wandering the streets. You can't enjoy a nice quiet walk in the forest anymore without being attacked by bees. If the knights destroyed the nest in the forest instead of fighting wars, things would be a lot better. Go away! Go away! I don't want to be seen with a strange knight! Go away! Military gear. The search stops here. These are my. Aha! Here's a knight who knows a bargain when he sees one. Thank you and good fortune. My buttons. A strange night. Here we are in the middle of a civil war, but you don't see any knights in the streets because the king won't allow his enemies out. They're all locked away in the field of courage and in the great laboratory. Though, strangely enough, last night I saw some knights walking on the roofs. But, duh, forget it. No one knows why the war started in the first place. It seems it's something to do with a legend. One day, a black knight will come and make a fool of the king's son and force the people to submit to his rule. <laughs> what rubbish. to denounce him. He's a customer, and they're rather few and far between at the moment. Yes, that's true. With this war, you can't enjoy yourself with your friends anymore. Yeah, right. There's only you and me, day after day, and I'm getting tired of seeing your face. Ha ha ha. Isn't she funny? Very funny indeed. Pay no attention to my wife tonight. She never misses an opportunity. Well, just for a change, we could go and play Who's Got the Flag with the Knights. 
From what I've heard, Tuscan III still has Taurus's flag. The armies of the laboratory in the field would very much like to get their hands on it. That would gain the respect of the population. Right, that's enough. Don't go giving this stranger the wrong idea. Come in, Sir Knight. Uh, the armies are snatching at the flag, a stupid piece of cloth, to try and prove their superiority. It's absolutely ridiculous. And in my opinion, it's a bad idea to keep the magician shut away. Locked in the laboratory, they're bound to be preparing their master stroke. But don't go repeating that, Sir Knight. People think I sympathize with them. You should leave here, Sir Knight. It's not healthy, and all because people no longer have confidence in the King. It was because of a legend. It seems that soon a dangerous Black Knight will come down from the sky and take control of the Kingdom. People think Tuscan III isn't powerful enough. What I'm afraid of is the men of the Field of Courage, locked away as they are. They have all the time in the world to hatch a plan. But don't ever repeat that, Sir Knight. People will think I sympathize with them. We don't want any trouble here. If the guards are looking for you, we'll have to tell them you're here. But we'll also say that you haven't caused any harm. Right. If you want something to eat, you have to hand over a lot of plastics. Well, what do you expect? There's a war on. And if that doesn't suit you, go and see the boss. He's upstairs. Now, make your choice. <laughs> Good day, Sir Knight. Oh, this war. I hope you're not going to get involved with it. It's already complicated enough. As my nephew Clemenceau says, war is much too serious a business to leave to the military. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, enough of that. I was just looking in my rooms and thinking to myself, if a tyrant wins the war, there'll probably be lots of people wanting to hide here. It would be perfect for the rebels to hole up in. Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but anyway, you seem like a goodly fellow. Take whichever room you like, there's no charge. Enjoy your stay in Taurus, despite everything! Black Knight will come and enslave us. Can you imagine that? <laughs> you, you're fighting over an illusion.
Welcome, Hype. I was expecting you. Please forgive my knights for attacking you. I absolutely had to keep this meeting a secret. You'll understand why. Allow me to introduce Enost, my personal magician. It's thanks to him that I know you. We know each other. You freed me from Rajo's laboratory many years ago. I've written down everything about you in my almanac. I already knew what Gogood had said to Rajov. And I also made some of my own inquiries. More and more is being written about you and about the Black Knight. Your existence and your exploits have been recounted by the monk scribes. And by the laboratory magicians. And by the villagers hungry for legends. If people don't recognize you in the streets, it's simply because I have removed the Quisitus about you. You are strong, Hype. Only the greatest are living legends. But just imagine the power of the Black Knight. He's already a legend and he hasn't even arrived yet. That's quite something. Yes. Ironically, you are in part responsible for the Civil War. Since the people learnt that a powerful Black Knight would take control... They've lost confidence in the Tuscan family. Hmm. I need you, Hype. I would like my son to be protected. I've kept everything secret. Even my men don't know where he'll be hiding. My son is your king. So I know that you'll accept this task. Go on to the mezzanine. The man responsible for protecting my son will explain what I expect of you. You know him. is really beautiful, Knight. I love your livery. Yes, now I remember. Don't you recognize me, Sir Knight? It's me, Sinecal. I used to be the gatekeeper at the Field of Courage. Surprised to see me then. I'd like the kingdom to have those colors. They inspire peace. Yes, my prince. Those will be your colors, if that's what you want. They will be when I am king. And you will be King Prince Tuscan. You will be. Hype, let me explain. After a day working at the Field of Courage, I got drunk and fell into the moat. It was a monk who saved me from drowning. He knew who I was and he saved me all the same. I was so moved by his act of kindness that I decided to enter the monastery. And you are a very kind monk, and very strong. Thank you, Prince. I agreed to protect the Prince because his father is sincere. He wants peace, but it's dangerous. I need to find my weapons. I destroyed them when I joined the monastery. With your powers, you'd surely be able to get them back for me. Our legends say that you can journey through time. I can't wait to see that. So what I'm asking you, Sir Knight, is to return to the past in Taurus. Get my weapons from the Field of Courage and bring them back to me. But remember this. When you return with my weapons, we'll be hiding in a secret room in the monastery. Bring my weapons to me there. I'll make sure the door to the monastery is unlocked. Good luck.
you've come from the future to pop. <laughs> <laughs> You've come from <laughs> from the future at my request <laughs> to take my weapons. <laughs> what rubbish! <laughs> it's too ridiculous for words. <laughs> I'll make a deal with you, Sir Knight. We'll compete for our weapons. Whoever wins the fight in the arena gets the other's weapons, okay? <laughs> He's come from the future. <laughs> You're very strong, Sir Knight. I can see now how you managed to beat the Gladiator. I'm a man of my word, so here are my weapons. Look after them. Lots of people would like to get their hands on them.
Make your choice, Sir Knight. I knew just by looking at you that you'd recognize quality. You'll see. You won't be disappointed. Farewell. Make your choice, Sir Knight. I knew. Make your choice, I knew. Make your I knew. Make your I knew. Make your choice, I knew. Make your choice, I knew. For military gear, the search stops here. These are my prices, Sir Knight. Make your choice. Aha! Here's a knight who knows a bargain when he sees one. Thank you and good fortune. For military gear, the Aha! Here's a knight who knows a bargain.
Sir Knight, if you bring my weapons back from the past, I'll be able to protect the young prince in the monastery. Good luck, Sir Knight! My... my... my weapons! It's a miracle! You really are incredible, Sir Knight. I hope all my knights will be like you. When I meet people like you, I no longer have any doubts about man's greatness. Thank you, Ape. I'll protect Taskin the Fourth with my life. As for you, Sir Knight, pursue your quest. On the way here, we met Rave. She said that Gogood is expecting you. You have to go and see him in his manor. He's got some very important information for you. Farewell, Sir Knight. Wait, Sir Knight. Before you go, I'd like to give you this reserve of energy, which might be very useful. With this, you will be able to carry as many as ten mauve potions. Farewell, and see you soon.
pipe, my friend. I've found something in the treatise of time. There's a lost city situated outside time. <laughs> you get to it through a strange dolmen. It was in this city that Taskin the Second found your armor. Listen to this passage from the book. This city is also that of the virtuous. Maybe that has something to do with the jewel of virtue that you're looking for. But, <laughs> but I don't know where to find this dolmen. What I do know is that the brigands are looking for it on your behalf in the forest. Good luck. <laughs> I am pleased to see you. Very pleased. My mother was right. You are... As you can see, we found the dolmen that Taskin the Second told us about. Be careful. This dolmen is strange. When you go up to it, the animals fall silent. Hype. Good fortune.
Yes, Hype. It is I, Zatila. You see me here in my capacity as a divine beast. I am now the guardian of the Jewel Room. We are in the last divine bastion. The gods do not have the right to interfere in the affairs of men. Therefore, they have created this place outside time and your world. Tascan II has guided you here by means of the map he gave to the brigands. Thus, you have been guided by a man, and not by a god. You must now prove that you are worthy of the Jewel of Virtue by confronting your worst enemy, the Antithesis of Virtue. This is the only barrier between you and the power of the Jewel. This is the moment, Hype. The dragon in me bids you fight. The friend in me hopes that you will return. My work is done. Only the perfect knight can possess your armor, the royal jewel, the jewel of mankind, and the jewel of virtue. And only he can free the kingdom. I knew that you would leave here one day with the last jewel only if you were the greatest of human beings. I couldn't say anything. You had to prove your worth alone. But now I can speak freely. The Black Knight is called Barnak. He is a god who was banished from our kingdom. Now he wants to create his own kingdom in your world. Quickly, Hype. You must save your people and vibe your betrothed, your beloved. Climb on my back and let us go and charge the jewel with energy from the sky. It is more difficult to be virtuous than to be evil. The Jewel of Virtue requires 60 Energia Prisma to be fully charged. Yeah. 
Done. You've charged the jewel. Ah, collecting these Energia Prisma has really done me good. I could fly for hours with you if you wanted me to. But for now, let's be careful. There are some nasty dragons about who don't like anyone else to fly over their territory. If you prefer to go back to the forest and pursue your quest, just direct me towards our takeoff point. We shall see each other again very soon. Before you leave, you should go see Gogood. He's a good man who's dedicated his life to you. Go, Hype. I can't wait to see the outcome of all this. I saw you flying with your friend, um, um, your friend, oh, ah, Zatila, that's it. <laughs> yes, your, your flight brought back old and pleasant memories for me. <laughs> oh, I, I'm old. I probably shan't be here anymore when you, um, oh, thank you, Hype. Thank you for giving me my life's work. <laughs> it's, oh. <laughs> it's no use saying any more. Good luck. It's him! It's him! It's Hype! Catch him before he strikes the sundial! 
He mustn't get away! <laughs> Hype! I knew you'd come back. It was to be expected. Your Black Knight should be waiting resolutely for you. Your legend has reached all the way to him. He knew you were returning to his era. <laughs> but I have a solution. Your story is written in three almanacs. There's Enos, he's the magician at the fortress. There's the laboratory magicians. And lastly, the monk scribes. Get these three almanacs and give them to me. I'll change your story in order to confuse things. But take care. When you take the almanacs, no one must see you. Your legend must not be rewritten any other way. Go now, and good luck. <laughs> I'll wait here. I'll take back the almanacs when your story has been changed. I've already sent some brigands to open the secret passages if necessary. If you're caught by the owners of the almanacs, just get out and you can come back again later. That way they'll think you've gone. Good fortune, Hype. Don't forget, Hype. You must bring me the three almanacs. Enosts, the laboratory magicians, and the monk scribes. And no one must see you take the almanacs. Hype. Gogood told me about his discovery. What you are about to do is noble. Erasing your story does not diminish the greatness of your cause. It's just a lesson in humility that you're throwing in the face of vanity. Go now, and come back soon with the almanacs.
Well now, is my memory playing tricks on me? I believe I'll recognise you tonight. Yeah, but then I've met many nights since I started working on my boots. It's such a long time ago. My father, the shoemaker. Uh, I'm well at the old town shoemaker. I'm trying to invent the fastest boots ever seen. And I think I'm almost there. But I need your help to finance my work and test my boots. If you give me 200 plastics, you can run a race against the clock wearing my boots. And if you win this race, you'll get the greatest reward ever. Would you like to run the race tonight? This is how the race works. On my signal, you must follow the route indicated by the torches. Each time you pass a torch and put it out, others will appear. The last torch will reveal the fabulous reward promised. But remember, you are racing against the clock, so you must hurry. Do you want me to explain it again? Good fortune, Sir Knight. On your mark, set, go! that my boots are perfect at last. I've done it. I've succeeded. <laughs> oh, if only my father could see this. There's no doubt. My boots really are the best. To thank you, Sir Knight, I'm going to give them to you. Now, you can boast that you're the proud owner of the first and only pair in existence. Use them well. Farewell, and thank you again. <laughs> I've done it. Success at last.
For military gear, the search stops here. The aha, here's a knight. Make your choice, Sir Knight. Oh, I'm afraid you all... Make your choice. I knew just by look. Make your choice. Oh, I... It's him! It's him! It's Hype! Catch him before he strikes the sundial! He mustn't get away!
Ah, a night at last. I can hardly believe it. I've been asking for help for ages. With valiant knights like you around, it's surprising our precious almanac hasn't been stolen yet. Right. Now let's leave that for the moment. I need you here. We must make a good store of life potions for our knights. And I'm too old to be doing that sort of thing. This is what you have to do. On the walls, all around the room, you'll see several pipe inlets. To help me, you must send steam into them using the large injection pipes. For the moment, I need you to do it according to the series of icons that you see near me. First, start the mechanism using the lever. Then, to inject the steam into the correct pipe inlets, step on the front of the platforms. Well done, Sir Knight. You've completed the series of icons. Well done, Sir Knight. You've completed the series of icons. Come and see me now. Good work, Sir Knight. Hmm. An excellent life potion. Thank you. Ah, helped by a knight. That's something to note in our great almanac. <laughs> oh, take this potion, Sir Knight. It's a gift. You earned it, and I'm feeling generous. Here's the key to the laboratory. All the riches that you find there will be yours. And thank you again.
spy in the service of the king. You're the one who activated the last pipe. You'll never get out of here.
waiting, Sir Knight. I know you think my prices are high, but there's a war on, you know. And don't forget, fighting's your business, weapons are mine. For your information, my standard boats come in packs of 30, and modern boats are in packs of 15. Now, make your choice. And that makes one more sale. <laughs> Have a good civil war tonight. Mine's going splendidly. <laughs> Greetings, Hype. I, um, I was wrong about you. 
You are very strong. Welcome to the room that will be yours. The room of the champion. Listen. The king is in the midst of talks with the men of the Field of Courage. But I have bad news for him when he returns. Enost, his magician, has betrayed him. He's fled with his almanac. Enost wants to prepare for the coming of the Black Knight. I'm told he's living in a dark tower which is accessible only from the sky. Oh, the traitor! He's been preparing this for a long time. He's even taken on some men. Well, anyway, farewell, Hype. You are... you are a great champion. You want to search the skies to find Enost? Wonderful! My duties as guardian of the Jewel of Virtue are complete. From now on, I can no longer forecast your actions. Henceforth, this is a quest which draws me closer to men and to their joys and sorrows. Right, do you want to climb on my back now? I made a reconnaissance flight earlier today, and I noticed the summit of a strange mountain sticking up through the clouds. I'd never seen it before. Maybe we should take a look at it.
be careful, Hype. I sense that this place is already the domain of evil. And remember, Enost mustn't see you take the almanac. If he sees you, leave the room and return again later. Good luck, Hype.
I wouldn't waste so much time if the armor didn't fall off at the end of each action. I really must fasten this armor onto myself before the Black Knight comes. At my age, I won't be able to walk without it soon. Oh, no, not again. I should never have hung that there. I'm wasting far too much time. Right. We better try again. Find some wire.
Well done, Hype. Quick, let's get out of here. Well done, Hype. I've been longing to see you again, and to confront Void, this dragon of Barnax, this disgrace to my race, in single combat. Go. Go now. Your betrothed vibe must surely need you in your own era. Give me those almanacs. I found a way to erase the writing by scratching the ink with an emerald stylus. <laughs> this way, nothing will show. I'll easily be able to modify your story. Ah, now, boom, um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, oh, ah, yes, a uh, barnack. <laughs> uh, this barnack. We'll see only fire. <laughs> Don't worry, Hype. I'll put the almanacs back myself. If I'm caught, they'll simply think it's a poor brigand who stole their almanacs. They won't make any connection with you. By cracky! That gives me an idea. I'll say that you were killed by the brigands when you were trying to go back in time for some unknown reason. <laughs> when you're in your own era, Hype, have a good look here, in the secret room at the manor. I'll hide some information here for you. Hype, I... No, it's nothing. Farewell. Yes, I, um... Wait! I... I know you haven't known me for a very long time, but I've grown up listening to wonderful stories about you. I've thought about you all my life. And I... You... I... I love you. Oh, yes. 
Right. Well, hmm. Hey, that's... <clears throat> uh, this time it's true hype. It was probably the last time that I... Uh, I'm going to miss you. Thank you once again for giving meaning to my life. I feel... <laughs> uh, I feel uh, <clears throat> that I've served a great man. Farewell, I... Farewell, Hype. Ah, at last. If only you knew how much I've been longing to confront Barnak. I'm tired of flying through the skies. Barnak has broken the laws of nature. It's time his reign came to an end. Barnak doesn't know you've come back, but he can wait for the moment. First of all, you must go and see Vibe, your betrothed. I don't know where she is, but I suggest you start looking in Taurus. Be careful there. The black guards are everywhere. Go now and find Vibe. I'll look forward to your return when we can fly one last time towards the Black Tower.
Here we forge good things, and we forge them for good. There you go. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. I look forward to seeing you again, Sir Knight. That makes a change from Rajos. Right then, business is good and you're going to reap the benefits. That's that. Make your choice, Sir Knight. These, that. Make your choice, Sir Knight. What a shame. Make your choice, Sir Knight. These are, that. Make your choice, Sir Knight. These are my prices. That's that. Though fools and knaves I drive from my gates, for black guards a welcome always awaits. I know, I know, you're not a black guard. You don't tell anyone, but that suits me just fine. <laughs> for your information, all my bolts come in packs of 30. Now, make your choice. don't care who you are, I will not say Barnack's phrase. No, no, no. I've had enough. Do what you want with me. I can't take any more. I, I want to see the sun again. I want to have fun with my friends. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Don't believe it, you're not in black, Sir Knight. Ah, I see, I've got it, it's a test. Very well then. I swear loyalty to Barnak, my god and my king. I agree to serve him all my life. Is that all right then? Can I go now?
swear loyalty? We must speak quietly. To Barnack. I know who you are. My god and my king. I agree to serve him. You're expected at the inn. All my life. It's your. Oh, would you look at that? A knight who isn't in black. It's incredible. Be quiet, Paquin. It's him. You. You must be strong if the guards haven't beaten you. Paquin, be quiet, will you? Can't you see that? I'd like to see if you really are strong. Guards! Guards! Shut up! Just shut up, will you? That's enough! It's him, I'm telling you. It's him! Do you understand now? It's him? Who do you mean, him? Oh, oh him! Oh, it's true! Oh, I'm so sorry, great knight and great champion. I do beg your pardon. I... I'm so stupid. I... Oh, it's all right. It doesn't matter. Forget it. Come in, great knight. Come in. <laughs> I'm so... Sorry I am. I'm such a fool. Oh, I behave like a complete imbecile. <laughs> I recognize you, Great Knight. You're hype. I'm the happiest man in the world. This is a great day for us. Unfortunately, if you want something to eat, you'll have to give me some plastics. I'm sorry, but I don't have any choice. I must give plastics to Barnack every day. Champion Hype, would you like to visit my rooms? You're expected there. Now make your choice. I, er, uh, I, I, er, uh, I, that's it, I remember now, I swear loyalty to Barnak, my god and my king, uh, I agree to serve him all my life.
Greetings tonight. I swear so much loyalty to Barnack that I even sell my wares to his men. They don't tell anybody, but I charge them more. <laughs> Go on tonight, make your choice. I swear loyalty to Barnack, my god and my king. I agree to serve him all my life. My darling, I'm so happy to see you again. This is a great day for the Resistance. A very great day. And yes, Hype, I'm the leader of the Resistance. And what a leader. Let me introduce you to Rivist and Bigra, my two right-hand men. Some time ago, a charming old lady called Nolan came to see me. She gave me her personal diary and that of her mother, Karen. I read all about your adventures in there. Then I knew you'd come back to me. Nolan left and I haven't seen her since. And you're here. You've come back at just the right time. We've been waiting for you so that we can go into action. Lots of people have rallied to the resistance, but Tascan the Fourth and Queen Lizeth are still imprisoned in the fortress. And we must free them first of all, and to see them free with you will be the signal for the uprising. But the fortress is too well guarded. Only you can free the King Hype. Here are the keys to the fortress dungeons. We stole them from a black guard when he was drunk. Once you're inside the dungeons, you're bound to find a way of opening the cells. Good luck. I love you.
Thank you, Great Hype. I'm so pleased to see you. Ah, oh, I feel as though I've got the strength of ten men. Now the Black Knight will pay. <laughs> but first, we must free my wife, Lizeth, and Bobard, our faithful knight. They're in the cells. Come, Hype, let's go. Quickly, Hype! Free Lizeth and Bobard. Then we can activate this lever to open the big gate. Thank you, Hype. I'm so happy to see you. I knew you'd return. We learned from the spies that Vibe is heading the Resistance. You're a formidable couple. Right, let's put a stop to this Black Knight so that we can finally celebrate your marriage. Thank you! At last! Hype! I recognize you now! It's good to see you again! I shall escort the king and queen. Then, with the king's help, I shall reform the army. Now the uprising can begin! Activate the lever hype. Then we can get out of here. Don't worry about me. I'll stay in my fortress with Bobard and form an army. We'll take back control of my fortress, or my name's not Tascan. And as for you, Hype, you must go to your room. The Black Guards have never been able to get in there. It's very strange. Now go. I'm sure it must be something important. Now let's get out of these dungeons.
domination over eternity. To stop him, I must go back to the lost state your expected man. Make your choice, Sir Knight.
For military gear, the search. Aha! Here's a knight who knows a bargain when he sees one. Thank you and good fortune. that you are a connoisseur. In wartime, people always need my services, even if my prices are high. <laughs> Make your choice. Thank you, Sir Knight, and good luck. Make your choice. Thank you, Sir Knight. Make your choice. Thank you, Sir Knight. Make your choice. Thank you, Sir It's always a pleasure to see you, Hype. If only all the knights were like you, everyone would be a lot happier, and the world would be a better place.
I am the god Drarek. No, the gods cannot interfere in the affairs of men, but I am here to right a wrong. Gogurd has explained to you what Barnak means to do. He can do it using a jewel from our kingdom that he has carried off with him. Therefore, I am here to give you the same jewel. Then you will be able to confront Barnak on equal terms. For this jewel to have its full power, you must charge it in the sky, in your era. Here it is. Barnak will extend his domination over all eternity if he strikes his sundial when there is no more time. There will be an eclipse soon, and this is when Barnak will strike his sundial. You must defeat Barnak and destroy his sundial before the eclipse. But that isn't all. Listen carefully. You have written your own destiny that of the Liberator, but you have erased your own legend. So now you must prove to your people who you are by getting the four flags which Taurus has had throughout time and fly them all together from the top of the Black Tower. I have said enough. Don't forget to charge the jewel in your era and to recover the flags of all the kings. You're back. I'm... You're looking for the fortress flag. Maybe the men of the Field of Courage have it. And since you left us, we've had time to complete our secret passage which leads there. But be careful. The army of the field is very aggressive at the moment. Pipe. Forget what I said to you before you left. I had no right. I know you must marry your betrothed in your own era. I wish you every happiness. It's always a pleasure to see you, Hype. If only... You're looking for the flag, Hype. I'm sorry, but I have no idea where it is. But don't forget you have loyal friends in the forest who may be able to help you. Good luck.
what? You? You've not gone back to your own era? But I was certain that... Oh, this confounded memory of mine. You're looking for the flag? <laughs> oh, I have trouble remembering the date. Never mind the flag. Ah. <coughs> mm. You should take a walk in the forest. <laughs> the peace and quiet may be beneficial. Hail, Hype. I knew that Drareg had received you. It's a great honor to possess a divine jewel. And I have no misgivings, you'll easily find the flags of the Four Eras. I've made a reconnaissance flight. Barnak's still using a mist to disguise his tower. There's no way we can land there at the moment. We'd be smashed to smithereens. Right. Would you like to go and charge this jewel? The Jewel of the Gods has an absolute value. You need no less than 70 Energia Prisma to charge it with energy from the sky. This sky pains me. So many of Barnak's horrors can be seen in it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Charge the jewel. Ah, collecting these Energia Prisma has really done me good. I could fly for hours with you if you wanted me to. But for now, let's be careful. There are some nasty dragons about who don't like anyone else to fly over their territory. If you prefer to go back to the forest and pursue your quest, just direct me towards our takeoff point. It was good to fly with you again. The Eclipse will soon be upon us. I can sense it. I can't wait to confront Barnak and void his dragon who is a disgrace to my kind. Go, Hype. Go and get the Four Flags so that we can finally be rid of these two evil beings.
Hello, Hike. I knew you'd come through this door one day. I'm pleased to see you again. But I don't like your seeing me like this. How have I managed to stay here alone in spite of the black guards? I make them think I'm an old, mad woman. <laughs> Makes them laugh and they leave me alone. I'm all right in this forest, but I miss seeing the sky, the moon, the sun. I know you'll help me see all that again. But first, you must go to Taurus. You must see Vibe again and renew the contact with your real life. And I shouldn't be part of that. Good luck, Hype.
Ah, uh, Hype, my love. You're wonderful to have freed the king so quickly. Things are getting better already. That's true. And we've managed to get some men inside the fortress. The black guards have blocked the gates, but our spies tell us that the king and our forces are about to take control. My only worry is that we haven't seen the Black Knight for some time. Yes, he must be preparing his master stroke. And you, Hype, you... What? You're looking for Taskin the Fourth's flag? <laughs> 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 what a stroke of luck, my love. I've got the flag. When you fought against the Black Knight, before he sent you into the past, I took it for safekeeping. Hardly anyone saw me. Here it is. Do you want to reclaim the other flags of Taurus by returning to the past, Sir Knight? And put them on top of the Black Tower? That would be marvelous! The whole population would be right behind us then! Oh, Hype, I do love you! Good luck! We're already preparing for your return, Hype. Until then... If you reclaim the flags through time, you'll restore our hopes of victory, Hype. Good luck. Military gear. The search stops. Aha! Here's a knight who knows a bargain when he sees one. Thank you and good fortune.
pipe. I... You're looking for the flag as well? So that the people will be united in your time? It must be at the Field of Courage. Go ahead. You need it more than we do. Follow this secret passage. The brigands finished digging it not long ago. Nolan guided me here. I'll stay here to stop any men from the field who might wish to take you by surprise. Good luck. Done. I'll give the king the news. I suppose now you'll be leaving us for good to unite your people and take vengeance on the Black Knight. I would love to see that. Right. This is um this is a bit difficult to admit, but but you are the greatest champion that ever was. Hail to you, O oh champion.
Snape! What a lovely surprise! I... I thought I'd never see you again. I found something which may be useful to you. It's a copy of the key to the great door of the monastery. Since they've withdrawn from the world, the monks no longer collect riches. And that's no bad thing as far as the brigands are concerned. <laughs> anyway, here's the key. Maybe you'll find something of interest there. I know the king always leaves his flag there. Right, farewell then.
military gear. The search stops here. Aha! Here's a knight who knows.
I was impatient for your return. You have done well to get the flags. By flying them together from the top of the Black Tower, you will provide a beacon of hope for your people. You must be quick. The Eclipse will soon be upon us. Climb onto my back. Barnak must have dispelled the mist to view the Eclipse. Let us go and save the kingdom from this fallen god. Shall we do it now? Well done, Hype. The jewels charged, and... And that's it! The mist has completely disappeared! We can finally land on the Black Tower! Hurry, Hype. The quicker we get away from here, the better. shown me that not all men are evil. I must leave you now. You didn't know what you were offering me when you gave me the breastplate. Before I go, I'll give you back its, its power. Then I shall still still be with you. Go.
You're back again, Sir Knight. How nice. As you can see, I've changed a great deal. Before, we both had magic. Now, I've still got magic, but I've also got science. You're going to see just how powerful Armored Enos really is. Fight!
If it isn't Hype, the brave Hype who traveled through time. 
I must say, I'm surprised. The legends say you were defeated by brigands in the past. However, here you are. I expect my armored magician failed to check the contents of his almanac before presenting it to me. Right. I'm sorry, you miserable little knight, but I haven't time to chat. There's an eclipse waiting for me. All the same, I mustn't forget my manners. I'll leave you in the tender, loving care of my dragon. Void! There's someone here for you! We meet again sooner than expected, eh, Sir Knight? I'll make short work of you, just like I did your little friend! <laughs> Disappointment to me. Out of my sight, you miserable dragon. Considered, it's for the best. I'll take care of you myself while I strike the needle during the eclipse. Then, when your people see the moon hide the sun in my sky, they'll know that all is lost for all eternity. They'll know that you are no longer of this world, miserable knight. Now, fight! No, Barnak. You're the one who has to fight, you pathetic god. Fight! <laughs> Do 
Yes, I triumphed. This really is my favorite story, and all the more because I was part of it. <laughs> What happens now? I could tell you that peace is restored, that nature reasserts herself, that hype and vibe inspire the people. But to what purpose? You can see all that for yourself. Is there a moral to the story? Something like, be humble and life will smile on you? Good will triumph in all of us? Pa, all you need to know is that hype, vibe, and the people of the kingdom knew how to make up for lost time. This time that passes so quickly, I know a little bit about that, as I'm the one who deals with it. <laughs>